So it's been a long known fact in cytology that we lack this, this, this specific section. And we, when we determined the loss, it was only natural to kind of figure out how we can solve, solve the problem. I'm a pathology resident, so I'm still on my years of training. And what we can encompass a lot of the underworkings of the hospital um, that includes labs and the kind of the, the autopsy forensic service and, and, and also kind of what we call surgical pathology, cytology, and hema, hematopathology. We give people di diagnosis on a microscopic or, or you know, more in-depth level. And what we basically we do is we take a more genetic and scientific approach to a, to a somewhat subjective field at times. And we, we go back with numbers in terms of nucleic acids like RNA, DNA. We quantitatively study these tumors to give a more subjective, quantitative answer. And, and the bottom line for the way we work is that we actually need material to do testing on, what we call traditionally genetic testing on. One field that's kind of really emerging in the field of medicine is cytology. And what cytology is, is that we, we approach a specimen, or the clinicians approach a specimen, with what's called a FNA or fine needle aspiration, which we, we sample a lot of the tumor, but we only use a short needle. And the benefit of that is that it's minimally invasive, the risks are very few, and we can give a quick diagnosis. But to accompany that in the new world of ancillary testing, and genetic testing, and, uh, and genetic testing, we have to add uh, we need the cell block, which is a more traditionally processed specimen, because from that block, it's kind of a per permanent way that we can keep going back to the specimen to get, uh, to get material to do all the genetic testing. And as a future molecular pathologist, if I don't have material, there's nothing for me to do testing on. So what this offers is uh, a lot of companies who have vested interest in our ability to do amino stains or ancillary studies or genetic testing on these would be hopefully very interested in this because this is a well-known problem that these cytology cell block specimens are inadequate. So any company who facilitates either making plastic aware for patient care would have, should have some interest in this and especially companies who sell stuff like, like amino stains or, or amino histochemical stains or people who offer genetic testing on these specimens should have an interest in it because this facilitates them having specimen in it because they need material to be able to do these studies without them, they can't do them.